Hi, in this video we are going to take a look at the basics of ObiFluid version 5. We will be creating a very basic water emitter. So, um, first thing I need, to, I need to do in order to have a fluid simulation going on is to define a fluid blueprint. Blueprints are assets that contain particles, basically, and to create one I'm going to right click in the project folder, go to create, OB, fluid blueprint and I'm going to rename it water as you can see there's quite a few parameters here for now we will leave most of them alone and then click generate uh, now we want to emit this water into our scene so for that I will go to game object 3d object OB, OB emitter and as you can see an emitter is created here as a child of an OB solver object. The OB solver is basically the one performing all the simulation, but for now we are interested only in the emitter. Uh, what we are going to do is drag the water blueprint into the blueprint slot here of the emitter and then maybe rotate the emitter down so that it points towards the floor and click play. Let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see there are some particles falling down. Maybe if we add a floor so that they can collide with the floor things will look a little bit better. So I'm going to create a cube and scale it a little bit and then add an OB collider component to it. Now if we click play, uh -huh. you see that our particles behave pretty much like a, like a fluid. I can even rotate the floor and they will flow down. Um, there's a lot of things that we need to change here for it to actually look like water. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the radius of the emitter from 0.5 to half that value and then increase the emission speed. Um, emitters behave pretty much like a real-life faucet so if you increase the emission speed you will be also increasing the amount of particles that came out of the emitter per second and also increase the lifespan of the particles a little bit so that they hang around for a longer amount of time. Now click play Okay, things are looking a little bit better. Maybe the floor is a little bit too slippery for the particles, so I'm going to select the floor and here under the material slot we can choose an OB collision material which is an asset. There are a few materials included. Uh, you can of course create your own ones like you would with any asset. Uh, in this case I'm going to select the medium friction material and as you can see things are not as slippery as they were before. Okay, now let's make this look like a real like real water. Uh, for that I will go to the camera. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer here and then add an OB fluid renderer component and fluid renderers take a particle renderer as input there's one in our emitter already so I will drag it here and basically a renderer what it does is it takes uh, the particle renderer here which is the component that right now is rendering our white particles. If I disable it, as you can see, particles stop being rendered. And it creates a, it extracts a fluid surface from all those particles in the scene. Uh, so in order to make that fluid uh, renderer visible, I will need to uh, 
increase the radius scale of the particle renderer a little bit more so that particles overlap each other. In this case, I'm going to use 1.7. And if we don't want to see both the particles and the fluid surface at the same time, uh, we'd better disable this render checkbox here so that only the fluid renderer is rendering something. If we now click play, hey, you will see something resembling a uh, grayish liquid here. Uh, maybe if we go to the emitter and we change the color of the particles, things will improve. Ah, okay. Looking much, much better. Maybe we can trick the directional light a little bit. Um, and well, this is pretty much it. See you in the next video.